a Bullock County mother will soon be sentenced for killing her two little boys in their home. Tiffany Lucas pleaded guilty to their murders last month. Those boys were six year old Maurice Baker Jr. and nine year old Jaden Howard. WDRB's Darby Bean has covered this case from the beginning and Darby, it has been an emotional one. It has Fallon. It's been very emotional for the family members of those little boys mm -hmm. who have been in court almost every single time that Tiffany Lucas has been there. Even community members have come up to us at the very beginning of this saying how upset they were and crying. Um, one of the aunts of one of the little boys, Maurice Baker Jr. You see her there. She was picking out flowers recently. We went to that flower shop here in town with her uh, for what would have been that little boy's seventh birthday. And also that's Tiffany Lucas who you see on your screen now. There's been a lot of back and forth with the family and the prosecution because there have been talks of maybe trying to reach a plea deal in the case, which the family did not want. Ultimately, there was no plea deal here and attorneys for Lucas said not long ago they planned to use an insanity defense, but then Lucas changed her plea and she ended up pleading guilty to the two murder charges against her. Uh, this was the message from the boy's aunt after that most recent day in court. Please, she shouldn't get out of prison. She shouldn't. She should have to stay in prison. Give them some form of justice. This isn't right. So again, just lots of emotion in this case. Even the prosecutor said that this had really been a tough one emotionally. I mean, just unimaginable. So we know Tiffany Lucas pleaded guilty uh, to walk us through what happens next now. Next is sentencing. That's the next big date here in this case, and that's set up for two weeks from today in Bullitt County. And because Lucas entered this guilty plea, this will not go to trial, and it also means she cannot appeal. So instead, Judge Rodney Burris will decide her sentence. And how much time do we know is she expecting to spend behind bars? Uh, well, there's going to be some recommendations in court, too, that we'll have to go to sentencing and see what ends up happening. But we know she's already been in jail on a $2 million bond since her arrest. And as for this sentencing, she faces up to life in prison. So again, that will be up to the judge, but we plan to follow it at sentencing when that happens on November 22nd. This case just so heartbreaking in so many ways. All right, Darby, thank you.